Hello guys, good afternoon, good to see you. Hello Jorge, Lorena, Glenda, Guadalupe, Ruth, Janira, Josue, hello Carlos, Ivania, and Rita. So let's get started. Good afternoon, Ivania, good to see you. And uh, let's go over the lesson. Hope you are having a great day. And uh, let's start with the activities that we had for yesterday, right? Remember, we have uh, these activities. So let's get started with this part. Okay, so we are practicing the simple present. Estamos practicando el simple present, right? The rules. So let's go with this one. Can you help me with the first part, Carlos? Can you help me with the first one? My family and I. Can you help me? Hello, Carlos. Hello. Mm -hmm. Can you help me with the first part? Yes. Uh, woman, please. Um, okay. Uh, okay, my family uh, lives. Uh, uh, my family and I live in the suburb. My wife, I work mm -hmm. near here. So. Work. So we walk, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To uh, work. Mm -hmm. huh? To work. Uh, our daughter. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, um, work. Con S. Yes, with S, right? Works. Um, uh, downtown. So yeah. she drives. Yes, right. She drives to, to work. work. Mm -hmm. Son and Dawson. Very good. Our son Dawson. Uh, readers. And he writes. Yes, right. Okay. Right. Bike right. to school. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Can you help me with the next one? Uh, let's see. Can you help me? Samuel, the second one, please. My parents. My, pa my parents live in the city mm -hmm. my mother take take or takes take mm -hmm. tenemos a my mother que sería she verdad uh -huh. entonces si tenemos she le vamos a agregar ese el verbo cual sería take ah, or takes takes muy bien my okay. recordemos my que mother. esta Se puede reemplazar por she, ¿verdad? Estamos pues, hablando uh -huh. de ella. De ella. Ah, okay, okay, continue, Samuel. The subway to work. The subway to work. The mm -hmm. father is... Retired. Retired. Mm -hmm. So, he... Doesn't? Doesn't, exactly. Doesn't, okay. Doesn't work new. Word ah, okay. No. Mm -hmm. He last song... Mm -hmm. Sus... sus? Okay, he also use or uses. Uses, porque está hablando de él. Exacto, very good. Uses public tra transportation. Mm -hmm. uh, so they doesn't need car. 
Ok, en este caso, como estamos hablando de ellos, de ellos sería es don't. don't, yes. Ah. Doesn't sería cuando estamos hablando de ella o de él. Cuando okay. sería en plural, de una, en plural, de una persona. En plural, exacto. Oh, okay. Vamos a utilizar don't. Don't. En caso que sea singular, pero de ella o de él o de it, por ejemplo, podemos utilizar doesn't. Ok, so questions with this exercise. No sé si hay questions. No, ok, so we are going with this part. Ok, so let's, we have another part that it was about the vocabulary, about the family. So Jorge, with, can you help me with the first part, please? Ok. Mm -hmm. Helen and Jack are my parents. Mm -hmm. Continue. Helen, ok. Helen mm -hmm. is my is my mother. Mm -hmm. And Jack is, a, is my father. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Number two, please, Glenda. Okay. Pedro is my brother. Mm -hmm. I am his. Mm -hmm. I am his son, right? Oh, son. Mm -hmm. Son, okay, very good. Number three, uh, can you help me? Let's see, Ruth, number three, please. Hey, uh, John, Hans, Frank, or... Nuestros hijos, right? Uh, children, children. Yes, very good. Are our children again? Mm -hmm. Continue, Ruth. Kate, uh, Kate and Jones are our uh, brother. Mm -hmm. Kate and John are. Your are our brother. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's see, uh, okay. Okay, it's okay, uh, Ruth. Let's continue with the, sec with the next one. Can you help me? Let's see, Ivania, can you help me? Yes. Mm -hmm. but I have another water. <coughs> Hello? Hola. Hola, hola, hola. Yes, hello. Ahí está, Ivania, ya. Yeah. I can sí, see you. Yo tengo otro orden. Ok, I, I'm checking that one too. Ok, which, which one do you have? Uh, the first is, mm -hmm. it's good for me. The second is, Pedro is my husband. I'm his, his wife. I am his wife. Yes. 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 Kate, John, Joan, Joan. Yes, and you are Joan right. Are our children. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Kate and Joan are mm -hmm. our daughters. Okay, Kate, yes, and Joan are our daughters. Yes, it's it's much better that one. Let's okay. see, and I'm his wife. Okay, so the next, and you said this one, Kate and John are our daughters, right? Daughters, and then Brad is our Brad is oh. our brother, right? And then we have Kate is John's. Kate is Brad, John's. Brad is our son because Jessica is the mother. Brad is our son, yes. Okay, let me check. Son, and then Kate is John's. Let's see, Kate. Kate is John's brother, right? Let me see. And Brad is here. What is the one you have there? Joan, is, oh no. John's sister. Yes, yeah, sister and then brother, right? Brad is her brother. Okay, 
that is much better. Okay, thank you, Ivania. Let's move on to the next uh, sentences. Write for sentences about your family. What do you have about your family? Uh, Elenilso, what do you have about your family? Elenilson or Edenilson, what do you have about the four sentences? Edenilson, what do you have? Oh, teacher, conmigo. Hmm. Yes, yes. <coughs> what do you have with the four sentences? What is the correct? Oh, no, no. The sentences about your family. What do you have? Ah, for mm -hmm. example, uh, Peter and Blanky are my parents. Okay, Peter, okay, uh, are my parents. Mm -hmm. Cari, um, quiero ver. Blanky is my mother mm -hmm. and Jack is my father. Okay. Uh, Dennis is my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm his, his son about my parents. And mm -hmm. Karina, Elsie, and Estela are my sisters. My sister. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It was very good. Okay. Let's see your information, Gustavo. What, what can you tell me about your family? What can you tell me about your family? Okay. Um, my Nicole is my sister. Mm -hmm. um, Emma is... Uh, our mother. Okay. Um, Angel is my father. Mm -hmm. And my 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 daughter my daughter name my daughter name uh, is Sofia. Okay, your daughter's name is Sofia. Okay, perfect. Thank you. What about your information, Berto? What about the information about your family? Uh, my family, uh, mm -hmm. my father is Jorge, my mm -hmm. mother is Reina, mm -hmm. my grandfather is Obdulio, and mm -hmm. my grandmother is uh, Teresa. Teresa, okay. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, uh, my sister is Ivania. Oh, your sister is Ivania, but Ivania from here or another Ivania? Do we have Ivania ah, from here? Or oh, really? <laughs> Are you brother yes. and sister? Okay, okay. Are, are you kidding? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. I didn't know. Okay, so let's continue with information. And uh, here we have, uh, this was part of the vocabulary that we studied yesterday. So uh, let's continue with the simple present, right? So we have the affirmative sentences and the negative sentences. We have here a cross, and that means that it is a negative. Si tenemos una a cross, right, significa que es una oración negativa. And if we have a check, significa que es una oración afirmativa. Let's try to have the first exercise. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera oración? Let's see, Jorge, the first one. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera oración? Si tenemos un cross ahí. Sería una oración negativa, Jorge. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la oración? He. He is busing Skype. I'm gonna write it. He is doesn't he write? It's key, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, is that correct or is there something we can take? <laughs> what do you think? Estará que nos hará falta o que debemos quitar? La S. La S. Where? Okay. Is. Is, right? Is. Tenemos que quitar is. No podemos tener dos verbos eh, in the same sentence. Si podemos tener, es otro tipo de oración. Ok, so entonces nos quedaría, he doesn't ski, right? Ski. Muy bien, vamos a ver con surf. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? La Lorena, number two, surf. Tenemos el check, significa que es positive, right? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo nos quedaría de sentence? He does. Uh, mm -hmm. El verbo es surf. Surf. Uh, he, he is surf. Ok. 
he el... serves, right? Con S. Ah, con okay. S, yes. He serves. He serves. Very good. Vamos con la siguiente. Can you help me? Let's see. Guadalupe, can you help me? We have the verb swim. Swim. Dice que él es una oración negativa. A negative sentence. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la oración? He is doesn't negative. swim. Perfect. Yes. He doesn't. He, oh, he does not swim, right? Okay. Let's continue with the next one. Josué. Play tennis. Tenemos que es affirmative. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Hello. Yes. Uh -huh. um, she is. She is. Uh, play tennis. Play okay. tennis. Okay. Playing. Uh -huh. Play tennis. Okay. Estamos utilizando el simple present. ¿Qué cambiaríamos acá, guys? ¿Qué tenemos que cambiar? Place. Yes, exactly. Ese play iría para el otro tiempo, que sería el presente continuo. Entonces sería, she plays tennis. Okay, thank you, Josué. The next one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, can you help me? Ruth, can you help me, please? Rock, uh, climb, right? ¿Cómo nos quedaría si es una oración afirmativa? She is. She is. Okay, she is. Hmm? Uh, rock. Rock. Clean. Okay. Okay. Um, what is. Tenemos acá algo que nos hace falta. And so uh, we have to take. Rock clean. ¿Qué debemos agregar en esta oración? ING. No. Oh, no, for rock. Eh. Vamos a agregar S, right? Y vamos S, a quitar S, el is. El is lo vamos a dejar para el otro que le agregamos ING. Okay. Okay, she rocks climb. Okay, the okay. next one. Mm. Teacher. Let's see. Yes. I have a question. Uh, yes. In this case, the bird climb or rocks? In this case, it is rocks climb. Oh, okay. Rocks okay. climb. It's rocks okay. climb. Okay. Let's see the Thanks. next one. Okay. Oh, hi. Can you help me? Let's see. Can you help me? Guadalupe. No, no. Guadalupe has already participated. Let's see. Ivania, the last one, please. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Hikes, okay, she hikes, right? Oh, pero está, hay una cross ahí, right? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? She doesn't hikes. Yes, she, she doesn't, doesn't hikes. or she does not uh, uh, hike. Yes. yes. Sí, sí, ya tampoco lo ve. Okay, so I don't know if you have questions about this. Uh, 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 not, uh, not pick. Okay, uh, si me ayudan con el micrófono, porque parece que hay, hay uno que está todavía activado. Ok, so questions about doesn't. Miss, mm -hmm. what's the meaning in hike? Escalar. Yes, in rocks, right? This is the meaning. Escalar. In this, this case, uh, uh, she doesn't not, pero puede ser contratado. Oh, yes, hike. yes, yes, yes. Lo escribí así. I wrote it this way because I didn't activate my, my keyboard. That's why. But it's okay, both cases. Okay. Okay, perfect, guys. Let's continue then. Okay, so then we have uh, the lessons for today that is going to be about vocabulary section, right? We're going to have more vocabulary where you are going to practice. So let's continue. And uh, here we have some of the words, right? Tenemos adventure, aventura, exciting, uh, something que es emocionante for you, for example. We have popular, algo que es bastante popular, right? The meaning. Then we have seek, que es buscar, seek adventures, for example. Then we have danger, peligro, extreme, extremo, right? Extreme sports. Risky, algo que es muy arriesgado. 
And thrill que nos indica emoción, thrill. Tenemos también vocabulario with parachute, for example, esos que hacen el deporte de paracaídas, parachute. Then we have el cliff, que es cuando usted está en el acantilado, cuando hay un gran, eh, no sé, of rock, y usted uh, practica eso, I don't know if you like. Uh, then we have dive, que es bucear. We have hike, que es caminata, raft, que es andar en balsa, right? And then we have cycle, que es andar en bicicleta. Okay, from these sports, Alberto, um, do you like hiking? ¿Le gustan las caminatas? Do you like hiking? Mm, eh, yes, in the mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about diving? Do you like diving? Uh, I never diving. Okay, yes, me neither. I guess it must be risky. Okay, what about, okay, thank you, Alberto. What about you, Samuel? Do you like cycling? Do you like cycling? Cycling, do you like cycling? Le gusta andar en bicicleta? Do you like cycling? Yes. Yes, okay, that's good, right? To do exercise. What about a parachute? Parachute. Um, no. No, you don't like. It's dangerous, party. right? In the party, Samuel, parachute in the party. In the party, really, Samuel? Did you parachute? No. <laughs> yes, in the chattel, chattel bar. Oh, ah, okay, no, no. okay. No drink. Drink. <laughs> no drink. No drink. Okay. You were not drunk, right? You were not drunk. <laughs> okay. There you have. Okay. So let's listen to the vocabulary. I don't know if you have questions with the meaning. dudas with the meaning. No questions? Okay. So let's listen and then you're going to repeat sure. the, yeah, the vocabulary. Tell me. This seek, what is mm -hmm. the? Seek is buscar, right? Seek, buscar, buscar seek. Okay, you. so let's continue with the- Teacher, thrill. Okay, thrill is emotion. Thrill, motion, okay. right? Uh, so- hmm? Is equal adrenalina, adrenaline. It can be, it can be. It is very close, but the meaning I found is emotion too. But I guess it can be. Let me just check. Miss, mm -hmm. is a thrill es diferente o es al que está abajo de cliff? Cliff, cliff, this one, cliff, ese es acantilado. No, el que está abajo. Thrill, abajo this one. Cliff. Abajo. Con el que abajo oh, el thrill. Oh, thrill. Yes, yes, yes. Es el mismo. Yes, it's the same. I have uh, bad finger. Ah, yes, okay. thank you. It was a bad finger. Okay, so let's continue and listen the words, right? The pronunciation. Unit two. Taking risks. Lesson A. Building vocabulary. A. Page 24. Mm -hmm. Adventure. Danger. Exciting. Extreme. Popular. Risky. Seek. Thrill. Hey, let's listen one more time, guys, and then we check pronunciation, right? Unit two, taking risks. Lesson A, building vocabulary. A, page 24. Adventure. Danger. Exciting. 
Extreme. Popular. Risky. Seek. Thrill. Okay, there we have the pronunciation. So who wants to read the words, guys? Volunteers to read the words? Alguien? Somebody who wants to read the words? Yes? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's go, Carlos. Adventure. Mm -hmm. Danger. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Extreme. Mm -hmm. Popular. Yeah. Risk. Seek. Mm -hmm. Prior. Okay, so let's just, vamos a repetir this word, risky. Risky. Thrill. Fear. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, how you see the phrase con ex exceeding, exceeding? What the exciting. meaning? Exciting. Uh, exciting or oh, exciting it means emocionado for something. Uh, exciting. Okay, that is the meaning. So thank you, Carlos. Uh, somebody else who wants to read? Alguien más? No? Hi, teacher. Hello? Yo, mm -hmm. yo también, yo, yo. Okay, let's listen first, Yanira, and then Guadalupe. Perfect, ladies. Let's go, Yanira. Uh, adventure, mm -hmm. danger, exciting, extreme, <clears throat> popular, whiskey, sick, thrill. Perfect, Yanira. Very good. Let's go, Guadalupe, please. Adventure. Mm -hmm. Danger, existing, extreme, popular, risky, sick, extreme. Okay, vamos a repetir, vamos a repetir. Exciting, Guadalupe, exciting. exciting. Popular. 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 Okay, popular. popular. Sick. sick. Muy bien, thank you, Guadalupe. Okay, guys, ahí tenemos the pronunciation, right? It's very important to pronounce good the words. Okay, let's move on. And we're going to Unit. practice this section. Vamos a aplicar el vocabulary. No sé si hay dudas antes de continuar with this exercise. Questions? No sé si hay dudas. No, okay. Entonces vamos a ver las palabras ya en contexto, right? Tenemos acá el significado nuevamente for you to identify the words. Vamos a escuchar, and then you are going to uh, read. Lesson A, building vocabulary. B, meaning from context. Page 24. Adventure trips are very popular now. More and more people want to do something different and exciting on vacation. Some people seek danger and some people get a thrill from adventure. These people often choose an extreme vacation. They parachute, cliff jump, and dive with sharks. Some people want a less risky adventure. They hike, raft, and cycle. There is an adventure for everyone, and they are all exciting. Listen to Jane talk about the kinds of adventure trips she goes on. I go on an adventure trip every year. I walk through the African safari and I bike through the Grand Canyon. This is a photo from my favorite trip to Alaska. We take a small boat and get very close to the glaciers. They are beautiful. Okay, there you have the, the place, right? This is the place from Alaska. So Gustavo, tell me, would you like to try, for example, or are you a person who likes to seek danger? Do you like to seek danger? Or I don't know if you, do you like to seek danger? For example, mm. in sports? Mm. ¿Le gusta much. buscar el peligro? No much. Not too much, not too much. Not too much. Okay, what do you like to do? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta hacer? What do you like to do? 
I go in adventure, but more more simple, more mm -hmm. sencillo. Simple, right? Tranquilo. Simple. Mm -hmm. Simple or something very calm, right? Or something very quiet. Okay, very good. What about you, Lorena? That's a light adventure. Oh, you like adventure too, but not extreme, right? Yes. Okay, not extreme, but you like adventures. Okay, thank you. What about you, Lorena? Do you like or to seek a danger, for example? No. No, what, what do you do? What do you do? Um, que me gusta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Descansar. ¿Cómo sería descansar? <laughs> I like to relax, right? To relax I myself. Like to relax. Okay, yes. That is what all of us want. Okay, good answer, Lorena. Thank you. Okay, what about uh, you? Let's see, Jorge. Uh, do you like to see danger? Practica in any of these sports? Do you practice any of these sports, for example? No, I like it. I like to go to the mountain and river, but I don't like the stream. You don't like extreme Adventure. sports, adventures, right? They are very popular in some other countries. In otros países, posiblemente, they yeah. like uh, extreme sports. No sé si vieron la noticia de, there was a boy who was, who was beaten by a shark. Que se lo comió un, un shark in Australia. Okay, so he was swimming and then a shark appeared. So it can be dangerous that too. But some people like that. Okay, I don't know if you have questions. If not, we can read and uh, identify the words. No sé si hay dudas, questions about the text. Okay, so we are good with the text and vocabulary. So now that we have an idea about, about the vocabulary, vamos a trabajar in this section, in groups, right? Vamos a aplicar el vocabulario that we have studied in this sentence, right? And then you are going to speak with your partner using the questions. Vamos a trabajar using the vocabulary. And then vamos a talk, right? To practice speaking. And then you are going to present the information in the class. So questions about the activity, guys? No questions? Okay, now it's time for you to go to the breakout rooms and practice the information we have here. Okay, let me just see the, okay, there it is. Now let's go. And I will share the information in the breakout rooms. In the WhatsApp, sorry. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jorge. So let me just see what happened. Veamos qué pasó. Okay, okay, let me just see. Que intentemos nuevamente, Jorge. Okay, en ese momento. Okay.
había exciting. Ajá, uh -huh, stream. Hello, guys. Do you have questions or are we okay? Uh, I think we are okay. We are okay, okay. okay. I let you work. Okay, I let you work, guys. Okay. Hello, guys. Do you have questions or are we okay? Uh, Miss, uh, I think the first swimming we share is very dangerous. Mm -mm. Is in that case, okay. In that case, vamos a utilizar another word que es dangerous, pero no la estamos, no la tenemos ahorita en el vocabulario. So we have to use the words that we have in the in the vocabulary. So in that case, vamos a utilizar la palabra risky. Swimming muy. with shark es muy arriesgado, very risky. Okay? Sí muy. podemos utilizar danger, pero danger tiene otro significado. Si lo queremos utilizar ahí, puede ser dangerous. Ahí sí podemos utilizar dangerous. Danger, el que está aquí, ¿qué significa? Danger es peligro, como palabra. Danger es peligro. Por eso yo pensaba que nadar con tiburones es muy peligroso. Peligroso, entonces en ese caso sería dangerous, right? Dangerous. Danger. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, como no está. No está, decir... sería risky, risky. ¿Cómo que es? Second y es string. Second, my brother, always. Ajá, ¿cuál sería la palabra? String. Thrill or which one? No, streaming. Sick. No. Sick. My brother always stream. Stream. Ah, extreme. Ok, Ajá, extreme, extreme significa extremo, right? Mi hermano siempre extremo. Mm, um, tenemos que buscar otra palabra. Ok. Puede ser, por ejemplo, que mi hermano siempre busca. ¿Y cómo decimos busca? ¿Cuál es la palabra? Ya, esta es una que está en el en vocabulary. Sick. Sick, right. Sería entonces sick. Pero, como estamos hablando de la tercera persona, ¿qué pasaría con ese verbo? What happens? ¿Qué pasa si estamos hablando? Exacto. S, right, with letter S. My brother always seeks adventure. Okay? Okay, so keep working and let me know if you have questions. Okay. Utilicemos las palabras, right? Let's just use the words. Hello, uh, Ruth and Rita. Do you have questions? Tenemos dudas. Do you have questions? Or we are okay? Sí, sí, Miss. A ver si me lo Are you okay? Yes, no problem. No problem. And uh, I have a doubt about the six. Okay, number six. Uh -huh. Tell me. Yes, sir. I, I have a doubt. Is thrill? We want to do something different. We want to go on and. No. Okay, como tenemos an, we have an. Significa que la palabra que le sigue tiene que ser una vocal, right? Stream. No. no. Tiene que, la palabra tiene que empezar con una vocal, porque tenemos an. Extreme. Mm. Veamos, tenemos an. Uh -huh. Escuché que me dijeron extreme. 
Uh -huh. la si nosotros la queremos traducir, diría, nosotros no. queremos ir a un extremo. No, thrill, thrill. Thrill no podría ser porque... ¿Cuál es no podría ser porque es, empieza con una con una consonante y tenemos an. ¿Qué otra palabra podemos utilizar que comience con an? Es que menciona Sería entonces nosotros queremos ir a una adventure ride, a una aventura. Aventura. Yes, adventure. Aventura. Uh -huh. Ok, tenemos que tener cuidado, por ejemplo, con ese. Si acá hubiera sido, por ejemplo, A, ahí sí tendríamos que buscar otra palabra. No. Pero como tenemos A, tendría que ser adventure. De acuerdo al vocabulario, right? Ok. So, I, no more questions, ladies? No more questions? No. I'm sorry. Oh, number five, Rita. Yes? Five. Uh, like the... The extreme, extreme of yes. the event. Extreme sports, right? La número cinco. Extreme sports. Muy bien. Ok. Very good. Ok. I let you work like this. I let you work. Entonces, let me know if you have questions. Stream. ¿Es cuál? ¿Cuál, Jorgito? La, La cinco. cinco. Stream. ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué es? Yes. Stream. Yes. Ok. Do you have questions, guys? Do you have questions? Cinco? Extreme. Extreme. Uh, no questions, guys? No? Ok. I let you work. Let's do have one entonces. I let you work. Un pedo. Ok. Hola. Hello guys. Do you have questions? No le escucho, teacher. Permítame. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Do you have questions, guys, or are we okay? No, no estamos bien. Okay. For the moment, no, teacher. For the moment, Thank we are okay. It's okay. Okay, I let you work, guys. Okay.
Okay, guys, let's try to complete this section. Can you help me with the first uh, sentence? Let's see, Ruth, do you have the first one? Mm -hmm. What do you have in the first one, Ruth? Hola, hola, Ruth. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. No yes, we, we share is the very uh, risk. Is very risky, right? Very risk. Smooth. Arriesgado. Very risk. Okay. Sorry. Risk. Risky, right? Arriesgado. Risk. Ok, si, si, si lo utilizamos en la why, risk, de esta forma, risk sería eh, riesgo, right? Riesgo. Ok, and uh, they might invite you. Muy bien, thank you, Ruth. My, my brother, mm -hmm. always uh, dream. My brothers always, always dream. Thrill, mm, thrill, thrill significa sensación, right? Thrill, sensación, thrill. sensación, right? So what could be mm, my brother's always thrill? What do you think, guys? ¿Podemos utilizar mm. thrill en esa oración, in that sentence? ¿O qué otra opción tenemos? Uh, well, this. Seek, right? Seek. 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 En este caso, eh, como tenemos S, que serían brothers, no le vamos a agregar S al verbo, yes. right? Si aquí solo dijera okay. my brother, sí le vamos a agregar S. Okay, let's go with the next one, number three. Can you help me, Alberto, please? Number three. Number three. Yes, Alberto, I'm sorry. I, yes, uh, okay, uh, uh, exciting. Oh, yes, right. Um, let's see. Adventure trips are becoming more. It can be, it can be. Puede ser exciting o también puede ser popular, right? Popular. Porque más personas lo están haciendo. Many people are doing them. It can be exciting. No está mal también. But okay. it can be popular too. Okay, let's go with the next one. Can you help me, Glenda? Number four, I love scuba diving. It's so... Uh, um, thrill? And number four, I love scuba diving. It's so thrill. Mm -hmm. thrill. Thrill significa sensación. Thrill. Es muy sensación. Or oh. podemos copiar. Can we change? The thrill. Es muy, por ejemplo, extreme, extreme, Ajá. puede ser extreme también, o también puede ser exciting, exciting, exciting right, exciting, muy emocionante, exciting. Then we have the next one, can you help me, uh, Jorge, please, number five, parachuting, cliff, cliff jumping, and highlining are? ¿Qué sería? Sí. Al valle. Yes, Jorge, what, what, what would be the, the answer? Hola, hola. Yes? Mm -hmm. Extreme. Oh, yes, extreme, right? Extreme sports, deportes extremos, right? Okay, number six, Edenilson, please. We want to do something different. What do you have, Edenilson? Adventure. Okay, we want to go on an adventure, right? Adventure, adventure. Estamos utilizando adventure también porque tenemos an. Eso también nos indica que podemos utilizar this word. Okay, number seven. Can you help me, Ivania? Number seven, what do you have? Danger. Risk takers, number seven. Mm -hmm. Danger. Okay, risk Takers like the danger can be right, can be danger or también thrill. thrill. Can be thrill, thrill. Too. thrill. La sensación también, thrill. Okay, what about number eight? What do you have? Uh, let's see, Janira, what do you have in number eight? It is a parachute. 
if you want a sport with parachute with parachute mm, okay no. vamos a utilizar de las palabras danger mm. okay si tú quieres un deporte con riesgo o con peligro también uh. intenta el cliff jumping es uno de los deportes donde tú necesitas de mucho. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or risk. Real? No. O, o también, if you want sport with... Mm, mm, yes and no, depende. Podemos utilizarlo, pero depende del contexto. Risk. Risk. Con riesgo, risk. But, si lo podemos utilizar, but it is not in the vocabulary. Es... Perfect. Está bien, pero yes, we have to use the words that we have in the vocabulary. Risk. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So uh, tomorrow, vamos a continuar with the speaking section. Solo pedirles que practiquemos that part porque cada uno va a tener un minuto para presentar las preguntas. Okay, so you will have to speak for one minute. Usando las preguntas that we have studied today. Okay, guys. Sorry to take too much time. I hope to see you tomorrow and uh, have a nice day, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. See you, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.